Hey guys, so I'm going to go right into my discussion prompts for rent. Um, so for question one, one thing that I thought was really interesting was that the whole play was sung, so even the dialogue. Um, I'd seen musicals before, but never where everything that was said was sung throughout the entire play. So I thought that kind of made the play memorable. So that was pretty interesting to me. So for question two, one value that's represented in this play is greed and love of money, and that's represented by characters like Benny and the woman that's trying to produce Mark's work. So this woman, whenever she calls him talking about his his films, she just talks about how much money she can make him. And then uh, Benny is forcing people out of his building and his lot so that he can use it to make more money, even though he's affecting the lives of people. And um, another value represented in this play is friendship and love of your company and your friends. And that's represented by most other characters in the play. So they are, the characters are usually always, there's always conflict going on, but they always come back to each other and end up loving each other in the end. And that's what good friends do. And they value each other over wealth. And so that's kind of how these um, values are represented. And one thing this does for the play uh, shows the conflict between the, the conflict in values between the well-off and the not-so-well-off, so kind of the outstanding between rich and poor and what they value compared to what the other group values. So for question three, I was not quite sure why they kept referencing Santa Fe in the... I was assuming it was the city, but I didn't really know what significance it had in the play. And so I looked this up, and it, was, it kind of represents the uh, like Western paradise that these characters think of um, as pertaining to like getting out of New York and getting out of their kind of dreary lives that they're going through. So um, that was one thing that I had a question about that I found. So. so one issue for question four of diversity that's analyzed throughout this play is uh, disability and disease. And I'm, when I talk about this, I'm talking about all the references to AIDS. So um, Throughout the play, they mention AIDS several times, and there's they introduce several characters that have HIV AIDS, and um, they just portray these as, I mean, they're just normal people living their lives pretty much the same as they always have, but they may just have to take their pills now and then, or like in the sad case, Angel dies, but they just depict them as normal people because that's what they are. And I think this depiction resists stereotypes for the time, so... Back when AIDS and HIV were first becoming a thing, uh, these people were kind of looked down upon as if there was something really wrong with them and that they shouldn't be kind of part of society because other people may get it from them. So it wasn't widely understood um, how you got AIDS or how it was spread. So it this play just it points out the fact that these are normal people that just happen to have this disease. So I think that's how it resisted stereotypes. So for question five, one song that I liked and analyzed was Tango Maureen. And this song, um, it just it's where Mark and Joanne discuss the hassles of dating the same person. And it really just serves to introduce Maureen to the plot, even though we haven't met her yet, and it allows us to develop opinions about her. And another function that it serves that's kind of uh, pivotal to the plot is creating the friendship between Mark and Joanne over the over the hassles of dating her. So I thought that was interesting. So for number six, my two questions are, what exactly is the relationship between Mimi and Benny? I never really got that part of the plot. And my second question is, um, what was the reason for the missed phone calls from Mark's mom in the play where she was um, kind of nagging at him? So uh, thanks.